The race in Shanghai begins in five lights time. The Chinese Grand Prix is underway and Max Verstappen gets the launch he needs to chop across Sergio Perez. Fernando Alonso, does he feel brave to sweep around the outside of the Mexican driver? Gets the jump at the moment. Is the grip there? Alonso's being really brave, but the grip runs out. He's got the inside line. He's got second position. He moves past Perez as Verstappen holds the lead. But look at the traction that Alonso's got fighting the car. It is Verstappen, Alonso, then Perez. We're on board with fourth place Lando Norris. Alonso was working so hard to bring Bring those tyres to life on the warm-up lap and it's paid off the commitment and confidence he had around the outside of turn one was staggering thought he was gonna have a look at p1 for a minute as well oh that really really was an aggressive start by the driver in the green aston martin lando norris chasing down perez perez did not enjoy racing in the pack earlier on and if you're thinking who's that in the house that is nico hulkenberg up two places a poor getaway for both ferraris leclerc down to eighth signs down to ninth the team's trying to get the tyres up to temperature, trying to make overtakes. As we see now, a big opportunity for Charles Leclerc, trying to make amends for losing places off the line, and he makes the pass into turn 14. Gets past Hulkenberg, who's down to eighth. Sainz trying to come with him as well. Hulkenberg on the inside into the final corner. That'll compromise his exit, and Sainz could do with clearing the Haas as soon as possible. Maybe into turn one here. Let's see. He pulls out of the slipstream, building up to 200 miles per hour. DRS is now a Able, but Sainz didn't have to wait for it. Hulkenberg knows his fight is not with the cars from Marinello. Looks like Alonso's pushing their tyres a lot harder than us. This is good. It is good news. Will there be any defence offered by Fernando Alonso or does he have to think about the long game? And Sergio Perez powers by and retakes second place in the Grand Prix. So, here we go with the young British driver Lando Norris trying to get past the oldest driver in the field, Fernando Alonso, focusing on the race again. Park it on the apex. He tried that on the lap to the grid. And Lando Norris takes third place. This is so important for Leclerc to try and make the pass early using one of the DRS zones. How brave is Leclerc feeling? Now that move isn't done yet, but Leclerc makes the pass, shuts the door, and takes the long way round to take sixth place. Ah, there's an opportunity now for the Ferrari. That was late to pull out of the slipstream, but that's another position gained for the man from Monaco. Through goes Charles Leclerc, he's up to fifth, and he's going chasing Fernando Alonso. Here's our race leader, Max Verstappen, all by himself as Perez comes in. In fact, he's so far ahead. Red Bull can double stack, not even worry about it. That is so impressive from Red Bull. 2.1 and two second stops back to back. Problem for Valtteri Bottas. He'd been having a good weekend. He was challenging for the points, but still, still, he can't find his way to the top 10. Thankfully for Norris, he will take the, the eight second benefit that you get for, uh, for pitting under the VSC. 15 second loss instead of a 23. And the full safety car is out. They cannot move that car due to this man's retirement. And into the pits we come with Max Verstappen and Perez has been called in. Red Bull will have to double stack once again. Perez is going to lose track position here. So through goes Norris up to second place. It will change for you on the left-hand side. And Perez drops down. Now Alonso comes into the pits. Can Leclerc get out before the Mexican driver? Can he get to that safety car line? I think he's going to do it. And he gets past. So it's Verstappen, Norris and Charles Leclerc as Perez rejoins. Here we go. Lock up for everyone. Oh, contact at the back between Stroll and I think Ricardo as Max Verstappen. Yeah, Hulkenberg moves up. Ricardo moves down. It was a mess at the hairpin. The green flag flies once again at Shanghai International and it's a great restart for Verstappen. This was at the hairpin. Oh, that is ridiculous. That is a huge hit into the back of Daniel Ricardo for Stroll, who then had to pit. This is what it looked like on board. That's just clobbered him. So Stroll, who was hoping to return to the points today and had a good oh, spin in the background for one of the V-carbs. And there you go. Oh, that is so disappointing for Yuki Tsunoda, who is pulling off. And will that require more intervention? That car looks like it's in trouble at the back. Magnussen on board. We've seen that before. There is the contact damage to the front left for Magnussen. Puncher, maybe more for Yuki Tsunoda. This is on board the Japanese driver. 
and this was against Carlos Sainz. And that's the soft tyre in full operating. Well, it caused chaos, but once he fired it up, it's a very effective tyre and he got past Sainz. Take two. This time the pass for Stroll, who's able to get past. Oh, Magnussen leaves a wheel in and they somehow make their way round the corner. Stroll leaves the widest berth possible. And this is really, really great battling for the last place on the road because Daniel Ricciardo has come into the pits and we're scrapping all the way through the order. But Stroll in the green Aston Martin and Magnussen finding himself back ahead for the time being. It's as you were into the hairpin, or is it late lunchtime now for the Canadian driver? Gets to the apex first. Will that be the pass? Oh, they're treating us to some great battling through this one. Magnussen doesn't want to give the place up, and they'll still continue this journey. I've got to bring you in now. This is our new Villeneuve. <laughs> Dijon, isn't it? A lap of wheel-to-wheel -wheel action swapping places every corner. Here comes Magnussen again around the outside. And this time Stroll's elbow is out to claim the place. And this is the move for Perez. Trying to get past Charles Leclerc. Can Leclerc place the Ferrari in order to fight back? It's going to be close between these two. Side by side they go. No. Perez gets ahead. Alonso can take that soft tyre no further. And they felt the need to roll the dice but it's not paid off. These two were not on the friendliest terms. Former teammates by the end of their time together and Alonso will have to make the move as quickly as possible. Man, that is a quick direction change. And that is as quickly as possible. And it will not be a contest with fresh tyres. With DRS, he ceded the place to get rid of the softs. He put on the medium tyres and another place gained by Fernando Alonso who goes after Lewis Hamilton who's up 10 places at the moment. Oh, he nearly dropped it from the gravel and did a Carlos Sainz from yesterday. Alonso so nearly into the barrier and out of the race. How has he done that? 42 years of age, but still providing box office moments. Fernando Alonso past Lewis Hamilton and up to eighth. It could have all been over a few corners ago. To the hairpin, turn 14, another position gained and up to seventh position. For the first time in his career, Max Verstappen crosses the line to take victory in Shanghai. His 58th Formula One win, and he has destroyed the field once more. The Dutchman leads home Lando Norris. Two Red Bulls on the podium thanks to Sergio Perez. And a first victory in Shanghai for Max Verstappen, who extends his lead in the Drivers' Championship.